have I got a tall story for you. Well, it will be a tall story once this machine here finishes doing its job. Isn't it amazing? A huge crane hoisting great weights and swinging them about. But here's a question for you. Just how do cranes work? A crane moves things around on a building site. Um, you just push a button and it moves. And sometimes it has a big board end of the string. A crane has controls inside. These people climb up into um, a little box and it's got the, it's sort of like a, um, where the, all the controls are and things and how they move it. Hmm, some very mechanically minded explanations there. Well, I know what a crane's used for. It's used to take stuff from one level up to a higher level. But how do they do that? Do they use an anti-gravity ray to zap things up? Or maybe this is the answer, hmm? There are lots of different ways of moving things. If I wanted to move this hacky sack to the top of this tree, I could always throw it. I'll try that again. But when was the last time you saw a crane throwing something? A crane works by lifting things. It lifts the object up and swings it across to where it's going to place it. But if I want to move this hacky sack up, into the tree, I'm not going to use me as a crane because a crane needs to be taller than the highest place it's going to lift its load to and it needs to be able to reach across at least as far as the place the load needs to be taken. This would have to be one of the biggest building site cranes that I've ever built. And it's made up of two parts. You've got the sticky up bit here called the mast and this sticky out the front bit here, called the jib. Where have I heard those names before? Oh yeah, on a yacht. The sticky up the top bit is a mast, and the sail that sticks out the front is called a jib. So with a mast and a jib, a crane is like a yacht. Well, the reason the mast is so tall is so you can lift loads up really high. And the job of the jib? Well, it has a little trolley. And the little crane operator puts his little bit of shopping in his little trolley every day. Not. <laughs> Just kidding. The job of the trolley, well, it has this rope and a hook that it can lower or raise to move a load. And because the trolley can move from the end of the jib all the way back to the mast, it can shift a load anywhere in between. But what say you want to pick up something from the other side? No problems, because the jib also moves. It turns on top of the mast. So with the trolley moving back and forth like this, and the jib moving around like this, that means the crane can pick up and put down stuff anywhere inside a circle. To do all that pulling and lifting and moving, a crane needs motors, and it has them sitting here. It also needs someone to control everything, the crane operator, and they sit up here with a magnificent view of everything. Ooh. Just imagine the long walk down to the loo. Oh, it must be a real drag. Oh, and by the way, you know how I was talking about the rope? Well, it's not really a rope. It's this. A steel cable. And normally even someone as impressively fit as I am wouldn't be able to bend a piece of steel this thick. But because it's made up of individual steel wires, it's strong but bendy. Of course, there are a few other tricks to making a crane work. Have you ever wondered how it can reach out so far, haul up a huge load and not topple over? 
Well, it pays to have a stable foundation, not one like this. You'll see a lot of big cranes are bolted to a solid concrete base set in the ground, guaranteed not to wobble. And there's another thing that helps the crane keep its balance too. It's a very heavy weight called the counterweight. Well, let me show you how a counterweight works. If I was to carry something in this bucket here, oh, it would work really well, except for now I'm completely overbalanced. I feel like I'm gonna topple over. So what I need is the exact same weight in this bucket here. There, that's much better. I'm carrying more weight, but now I don't feel like I'm going to topple over. The people who design cranes have a very special way of keeping them strong and straight. Have a close look at the mast and the jib and see if you can see any particular shape there's a lot of. Hmm, how about triangles? Look, there are triangles all over the place and there's a very good reason for that. If I was to take a square, Thank you. Well, this square is made of four pieces of wood bolted together. And if I applied enough oomph, I can push and bend it completely out of shape. But if I was to do the same thing with a triangle, thank you. Try as I might, I can't change its shape. It stays a triangle. Well, triangles are a very special shape that way. So that's why engineers, the people who design things like cranes, use triangles everywhere. So that's how a crane works. The hook is attached to the object you're trying to lift. In this case, a toilet. It's drawn up on a rope, a rope of steel cable. And it's drawn up by the trolley. The trolley can move from one end of the jib all the way along the jib to the mast. At the top of the crane, in a cab, sits the crane operator. And below him, all the motors that work the crane. They all sit at the top of the mast. The reason why the mast is so high is that you can lift up objects very high with a tall mast. And a crane is made up of lots of very strong triangles that won't bend out of shape. Or maybe you have a building site near you. If you do, you don't have to go too close to be able to see a crane in action. They're pretty big things. But if you get a chance, have a good look at a crane in action. See if you can see all those triangles. Maybe you have some questions you'd like answered on Susie's World. You can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or email me at susie at treehut.com. Or go check out your local library. They have lots of information there. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Ka kite ano. New Zealand On Air, we couldn't have done it without you.